There's a storm here. I always time my storms very well. I didn't know it was coming. I'm gonna need a couple of days before I can walk. I mean, I'm like hobbling right now. Ah, this ankle is definitely inflamed. It's a bit fat around here and the pain was going all up this side. The pain was really here. But you can see how this ankle is kind of skinny. You can see the bone and there's a nice dip here. This is a normal ankle that's not in trouble. This one seems to have a fat pudge going on here, but it doesn't hurt to touch. Uh, I take this as an opportunity to do more videos for you guys. We've got Seb Cam the movie is coming. Uh, Tammy, Dustin's friend, has already got in contact and said, I'll come and visit you and I'll bring you stuff. So I was like, wow, bring me Taco Bell. <laughs> All right, Seb, Dr. Mom is coming and she's bringing Taco Bell. I just hope this foot is ready in 48 more hours. If I can't run, I will walk. I don't want to do myself damage that's going to cause me trouble later. Alrighty then, so I'm icing everything. Ice, ice, baby. And the cavalry's arrived. I've got the earthing thing. I've got everything. It's a pretty swollen kind of fat ankle that's going on. Look who's out the window. Yay! That's amazing. How much Taco Bell is that? Wow. It's a lot of Taco Bell. That's heavy. What would you estimate that weighs? Pounds and pounds, um, right? Five pounds, maybe? Five pounds. Maybe? <laughs> look, my ankle looks fat. It doesn't yeah, look you're great. swollen. Yeah, it doesn't normally look like that. So I've been using this laser thing. You're icing it? Yeah, ice has made it go red. It's not normally that red. Yeah. That stuff will help. Okay, yeah. I love all this stuff. Let me try some of that. It's got the CBD in it, and then it's also just essential oils. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these things that hide the pain, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, but there's clearly there's a problem there. Yes. I've got to heal the injury. Exactly. Not just hide it. Exactly. Just pulling my toes back like that, uh -huh. I don't feel like I can do it. I mean, I can, but it hurts. Right. So I'm just trying to not move it much. What is the movie that you're doing? Oh, yeah. Seb Cam the movie. I'm doing Leaving London, Flying out of there to mm -hmm. go to Fiji, but I end up in Florida. Right. And then going from Miami all the way up Florida, up to the Forrest Gump bench, where it then ends with me sitting on the bench in my suit, kind of telling the story. Okay, okay. So it's a kind of compilation of all the best bits. Uh -huh. And a lot of people have picked up on the journey somewhere along the way where I'm running along. Yeah. But what the movie will show is what I escaped from. You know, okay, the sort okay. of a bit like Hobbit to Lord of the Rings yes. or the first Star Wars before Star Wars or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. Okay, oh, you it's do, a buff. Is you put it in water and get it wet, cold, yeah. and then you snap it and it will you snap stay. snap it. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. They call it snap it. Where you pop it yeah. and it activates the really? material where it'll stay cool as you're running or whatever I've you're never doing. heard of I that. know it's weird so you it's not just like wetting a cloth there's something it's special it's different yeah and like there's a multitude of ways you can wear it oh yeah i've never heard of that i've got like a buff mm -hmm. thing but it's just if anything it's really thick it's more mm -hmm. like to keep you warm in the winter i've never heard of that cooling gear well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Yay! Ooh. Rice and beans with extra beans. Yes. Roll it up. Let's go. I remember this is an adventure. This 
they all are. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I nearly forgot the camera. Amazing. Sunshine! What's up ladies and gentle monkeys? My name's Seb, this is the cam. Boom! This is Seb Cam. And we're out of here. It was a lovely stay, got a lot done. I did a lot of editing and a lot of resting and recovering. Ice, ice baby. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -da, bum, bum. And a bit of lasers and stuff and my legs feeling a lot better. I was pretty sore, was hobbling around, and I feel like I'm 90%, maybe 95% recovered. The swelling has certainly gone down. I was a bit concerned that I was swollen up. So we're looking at a 29 mile, basically it's 30 miles, if you count this bit of hotel. It's 30 miles before I get to the next town. So I've got my backpack. I've already filled it with oats, mashed potatoes, a couple of cucumbers. <laughs> Just happened to be kicking around. Spare cucumbers. Uh, what else? Loads of cliff bars, raisins. The usual stuff on board because I'm thinking I have to divide that 30 miles up. I'm gonna have to stop somewhere halfway and kind of camp out. And then, so I'll do like 15 miles today, 15 miles tomorrow. Just so that I don't push it too hard. I don't want to overdo it. I think suddenly to jump back in the deep end and do 30 miles all of a sudden, when I'm already a bit fragile and sore and swollen probably not a good idea before the midday heat i'll be kicking back in the hammock in the shade all i've really got to find is water along the way and dustin has been super helpful as my banana hammock logistics manager good morning Seb Cam. hopefully you're having a good day feeling a little bit better got a couple of packages that have arrived for you <coughs> working out some maps <coughs> Oh, playing with the dogs. Yeah, somebody wants to say hi. Party time. And you see, Murray had a party with the mat. It was great. The corner he ate on it was filled and it turned into like some origami thing. Okay, buddy. Yeah. I see you. <laughs> but, bam. Tammy sent us a new map of Kansas. Gonna tackle some things today and... Hopefully get some stuff lined up on Couchsurf and get your itinerary up on Couchsurf and map out to get several, several days, maybe even like a week or two and wear these guys out a little bit and go from there. Bam! Roger that. Heading out. Over and out. Roger. Uh, it's 
spider webs. This is the bike path. It's pretty overgrown. I'm having to hack my way through. Ah. It seems like it was once a path, but now it's overgrown. But it's a bit of an adventure, it feels like. At least I'm off the road. Don't want to be on the road. The road is right there. But I'm going down here. Time to start running soon. Here we go. We're running through the undergrowth. Here we go. I'm going to get wet feet. That's what I'm thinking. I've got sticky balls. Fluffy muff balls. Fairy muff balls. Stick it to my feet and my feet are getting soaked. Maybe I should put waterproof socks on. Yeah, my feet are getting wet already. I don't want to get wet feet. Okay, I've come climbing out of the undergrowth. You can kind of see the bridge, but there's a clue. You can barely even walk through there. It's just so overgrown. But the good news is this is the alternative. Nice gravel and no cars. So it looks like we've got a clear run on this kind of road all the way there. Oh, was you sleeping? Did I wake you up and you were sleeping? Sorry, buddy, I just come to get water. We're just gonna get some water. Hiya. Water? Yeah, just getting a drink. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. If you look at anyone that's happy or successful in life, it's because they know how to keep fear in check. When you want something new and fear pipes up and tells you you can't have it, you've got to say, yes, I can. When you want to try something new and fear pipes up and tells you you shouldn't do it, you've got to say, yes, I should. When you want to go somewhere new or be with someone new and fear pipes up and says you won't do it, you've got to say, yes, I will. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. You were created to reach your destiny. You have the power and the ability to reach your destiny, so keep going because... I can't quit, I can't stop, I can't get tired, I can't give up, I can't give in. My mama counting on me, my wife is counting on me, listen to me, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. My options are currently down there in through the bushes, which doesn't look very inviting. It's gonna get very messy, probably take longer or down here, but it's a longer way round. The path is a kind of diagonal, wild, overgrown path. Oh wait, or is it here? Is this the path? It's, that's the problem, is it's difficult to even find the path. Is maybe that's a path, or maybe that's a gateway? But then where does it go across here? I think rather than get lost and scrape myself through all the bushes, for miles, I'm just going to take the slightly longer gravel road. At least it's going to be quicker, easier, just a bit more of a corner, a square right angle instead of a diagonal. What's up, horsey friend? Is that where you live in there? That's pretty cool, you're in the wild. Is it like a wild wolf spread? I'll see you later, buddy. Okay, 
I've arrived at this tiny town. It's not even a town. There's no shops, there's no nothing. But there is a Pepsi machine. <laughs> It actually works. I could get Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, or Pepsi Cherry. But I don't really want the caffeine, and I've got food with me. I've got, I'm well packed. I've got a whole backpack. Cucumbers, oats, potatoes. And I guess this house is running the cable. That's very kind of them. Look, they're powering it. It goes to the house. Legends, a surprise Pepsi machine. No surprise shop, no surprise gas station, but a surprise Pepsi. I like it. I'm gonna get out the sun and go in the hammock. That's my plan. Drink lots of water, take some with me, and hide in the shade somewhere for the day until sunset. I, was, I followed the wire from the Pepsi machine and was oh, like, Oh, that's hilarious. It must be this house. So I was <laughs> like, that's pretty cool that they power the Pepsi machine to the, right. oh, to right. the town. Yeah. <laughs> the 170 people who live in the town. Seriously. Could all go to the Pepsi machine. <laughs> that's crazy. And people, you know, work in other towns, so they'll come through all the hours of the night and get <laughs> caffeine, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I just got chatting with Joey. He was saying how different missionaries and different people pass through here. And they've actually got, as, as part of the coffee shop, right? Yes. Yeah. Sort of apartment, an apartment complex annex that connects to the coffee shop. So possibly I have somewhere to stay instead yeah. of just sitting in the park. Absolutely. <laughs> and then I'll get up super early, like three, four in the morning. Yeah, whenever you want. Like, so. yeah. But that would be a much more comfortable day. Yeah, there's air conditioning and a bed and a shower, so <laughs> that works. Actually, there's internet there too. Yeah, so. yeah, maybe. I'd, I'd probably not got any signal. I haven't checked, but probably not. What, 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 what no. uh, service do you have? Yeah. T-Mobile. So, oh no, you don't Nothing. have service. <laughs> He's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing work. We used to live in Garden City, Kansas, southwest Kansas. I'm going to be going through that. Oh, are you really? We used to live there. We used to hand out free food there and preach to people and stuff. And um, I don't know, God just stopped. My, I used to do remodeling and repair and stuff. He just literally prepared stop us in our tracks, moved us here, and that's an awesome house. Thank you. It was literally we did the addition on it, but it was on the city bulldoze list when we got it. Yeah. And we've been we had to redo all the plumbing, wiring, everything in it, and just coming through. Yeah. Did you get the so? But they're not staying here tonight, though, right? Or is that what you gather? Okay, that's what I thought too. Okay, I was. Somebody was wanting to stay in the apartment. I told them I'd leave it free for them if they were staying there, but I don't think they're staying there either. So I'll just have somebody stay in there for the night. So. Woo! Yep, alrighty. <laughs> Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. Well, we feel like we're just on earth here, you know, just to be able to help. I mean, the only thing we can take with us when we die is people. Yeah. Can you imagine getting to Jesus God. and he says, did you believe in flat or round? <laughs> you know, that would yeah. like, oh, crap. Yeah. But it's definitely uh, a way to hide divinity know, and to right. teach, oh, you're just a monkey on a meaningless ball spinning right. through space. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. I know, that's crazy stuff. <laughs> Facebook, yeah, you the do. Love it. Well, our ministry on there is called The Ministry House, is what, what we are. So if you ever found that on there, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we do. And that's what we got. So, yeah. so that might be a way to send something. Yeah. So, and I'll look up on YouTube as well. So. Yeah. Seb Cam. Seb Cam. Is it all Seb, one word? This or is, is the it? Cam. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Seb Cam. <laughs> People are like, what's your second name? I'm like, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> put the one minute highlights on Instagram, and I put the oh. full length kind of TV. That's a length, good idea. Thirty minutes. Just, yeah. just put it everywhere. Yeah. And it's not even that difficult to, you know, push a few share buttons where it will share from Instagram to Facebook. Yeah. It will share. There you with, go. You know. So with a few buttons, it just kind of goes. Yeah, yeah. Made the video anyway. Huh. That's the hard work. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we have we actually have ten kids. So really? Yeah, from twenty three down to five. Uh, that was actually, yeah.
that's an old school here. They're making into a, that's one of the ministries. They're making into a museum. Huh. <laughs> city hall. The city hall is yeah. tiny. Right. Yeah. That's this is our new hall. building here. We're gonna we're doing our gonna do our food distributions in church. Oh, it is pretty cool. It's cooler in here than outside. Yeah, for sure. Lovely. But, yeah. Yep. Lovely. Right, and this is a we use the bathroom and. Oh, oh amazing. <laughs> wow, I really can't thank you enough. Yeah, you can sleep wherever you want, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I can look back down there. <laughs> if you need to use the laundry, that's running. If you need, if you'd like to wash anything tonight while you're here. Yeah. You can eat whatever you want in the cabinets or fridge. If oh, anything. really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then this is the coffee shop part. Yeah. This is what we opened up to the public that we had to shut down for yeah. this virus deal, but we're hoping to have it open again in about a week. So. I like that one. Water is important because without any water, we can't make coffee. <laughs> so, but we're excited to get this back open again. I love all these signs. I keep reading them. They keep right. making me laugh. <laughs> I'm like a caffeine-free... Like I said, I drank those Mountain Dews and I was awake for... All night, almost. Oh, Lord, yes. Uh, do you need the internet password or anything? Or yeah. Do you want to use it? Okay. Definitely, because my phone has no signal, and it will be really useful to get more work done. Connected. Sweet. Good deal. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Oh, oh this is just the rest of the day out here, so yeah, way better. I'm so glad I spoke to you. Yeah, no I, was, I was so close to just wandering off, <laughs> trying to find the shady tree. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny happens. is that. Uh, a couple years ago, a dude came through uh, on a horse and carriage and said he was following some historical trail or something like that. And yeah, I should show you what I'm following. It's called the American Discovery Trail. Okay, cool. But it connects different trails, so this is probably the Santa Fe. Yeah, I bet so, yeah. But previous to that was one called the Katy Trail and, and nice. the River to River Trail yeah. across Illinois. Every single one is like a tiny... That's super cool. ...small trail that they've then connected, connected, connected. Yeah. Just in time, divine, probably, divine probably timing. Right. Okay. Oh, it's my sister, and that's hilarious. Cool, brother. Brilliant. Cool. Thank yeah. you so You're much. You're very welcome. So Glad it all worked out. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a great Actually, story, and it's a great, great, you know, experience for the people. I call it the people who live inside the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's awesome. Instead yeah. of just another day of hanging between some trees somewhere, mm -hmm. we got to do all this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's it. <laughs> Over and out. All right. We'll see you later. Peace. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much, Joey. What a legend. So cool. Didn't see that one coming. It's only 12 midday. I've got up at 4.44 in the morning. So, i got so much time available now. I can do so much editing. and This is great. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs>